Good evening, everyone. I'm Natasha Brown. Yuki is off today. And I'm Jessica Dean. After Tuesday's very close vote to bring debate on the health care overhaul, Republican senators are trying to overcome deep party divisions to make good on their campaign promises to end Obamacare. CBS correspondent Seth Lemon reports from Capitol Hill. There are American families that can't afford. Senators engaged in a spirited debate about the future of health care Wednesday. Obamacare premiums have doubled because the young, healthy people are saying it costs too much, and the sicker and sicker people are the only ones left in insurance. Half the country will have zero insurance choices in the private marketplace under this repeal scheme. Lawmakers spent the day considering a clean repeal of Obamacare after a vote on a GOP plan to repeal and replace it failed Tuesday night. If we do not repeal it today, there is no impetus for either side to, to work on replacing it. Kentucky's Rand Paul pressed his colleagues to vote for a clean repeal, but the measure failed without support from some moderate Republicans. This process is expected to go on through the end of the week, with GOP leadership now discussing a so-called skinny bill. The skinny bill would let Republican lawmakers repeal parts of Obamacare they don't like, then push the legislation to House and Senate negotiators to work out a final compromise. We're determined to do everything we can to succeed. We know our constituents are counting on us. Democrats are urging Republicans to abandon this process. When you find yourself in a hole, the first rule is stop digging. Democrats want Republicans to move the debate into committees to hash out a way to improve Obamacare rather than eliminate it altogether. Seth Lemon for CBS News, Capitol Hill.